Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show y'all my curly hair routine. As you can see, I have curls. Okay. okay. So this is how it's looking. My popping curls. The cute. The luscious. So if you want to see how I did this, how I got it, then you should keep on watching. So let's get right on into it. Why am I so excited? I don't know. Go watch it. My hair is wet because I just washed it. I totally forgot to get the shampoo and conditioner that I use. So I'm just going to get that real quick. Use the Shea Moisture Fut Infusion Coconut Water Weightless Shampoo. And I also use the Shea Moisture Fut Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Cream Rinse. Rinse. This is the conditioner and the shampoo. Um... So, don't mind my nails because, like, they broke all of them and I have an appointment to go get them fixed. But that's Wednesday and it's Friday, so it has to be like this for a bit. And I'm not going to take them off again myself because that's just a mess. Okay, so my hair is wet and I'm just going to brush it with my white tooth comb. My hair is brushed, now I'm going to take my micro mic. How do you say it? Microfiber towel from I don't know, only curls. It's from a Dutch brand. Um so I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that around my neck because y'all hate when wet hair is in my neck. I can't stand it. It's, I don't know why I just started speaking like that. Okay, so next I'm gonna take the Shea Moisture Jack the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I love this product. I absolutely love it. I've been using it since the day I start having naturally curly hair. Um, that makes no sense because I was born with natural curly hair. But I'm just gonna distribute that product. In throughout my hair and I just take a dime size because I don't use that much product and if you can see all of it um but what was I saying that I have been using this product since I started my natural hair journey because I used to straighten it and relax it so it has come a long way since then all the hair on your hands, I just love that. Okay, so this is the amount I use. It's just like, you can't really see it a little bit. I just need to get the hair. Yep. This smells so good. It smells so good. Every time I use this in my hair, I get calm. Well, not every day. I don't wash my hair. Every time I use this in my hair, I get compliments like, oh my god, your hair smells so good. It's like, dang. It's kind of weird when people actually start smelling my hair from up close. They're like, I'm like, what are you doing? Could you, like, not? Okay. And because the back of my hair is most of the time more dry in the ends, obviously, I'm going to put a little bit more product in those spots of my hair. And the insides, because the insides are very, very dry. I'm still transitioning, guys. Okay. So next, I'm going to be using from also Shea Moisture, the Co Coconut and Hibiscus Curly Cream Enhancement Smoothie. Um, Probably just, I say this about every product. This is literally my favorite product. If I had to pick any product, it would definitely be this one, because it moisturizes your hair. It smells like a fruity, like... I love fruity smells. Like, not everybody loves fruity smells. Like, some people are more drawn to coconut and don't even like fruity smells, even though coconut's kind of like, I don't know, I just say it. I just know I love it. But moisturize it, enhances and defines your curls. I love it. So we're just gonna also distribute that throughout my hair. 
And we're just gonna scrunch it up. Same thing to the other side. Like a little bit of powder. The camera angle keeps changing because like I just banged against the sink so hard and my knee hurts right now. But the camera angle moved and I don't know if it's in the set the exact same spot or not but sorry if it isn't okay and then last but not least I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture it's not from Shea Moisture the Diva Curl Arc Angel Gel this is a gel um, it's a 100% sulfate free paraben silicon free I can't say those words, I'm sorry. These other ones were too as well. They were also free of all of those things. <laughs> um, I don't really pay attention to that to be honest. Like, You could give me a product that's for curly hair and I'll use it if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna use it. But if I like it and it has that kind of stuff in there, I wouldn't really pay attention to Oh my God, I took way too much. I never use it much. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that throughout my entire hair as the finishing something. <laughs> so I never used to use gels actually. This is my first ever gel that I use and I like it because it gives this very like good shine to your hair and it makes them defined and it gives a strong hold. That's what I know. <laughs> It goes same to the other side. And this also smells very, very good. Like, I really love those sweet, like, um, fruity scents. So when I've done that to both sides, I'm just going to flip my hair. I don't know if you all can see this. I'm just going to flip it like this. And then just kind of shake it out. So it's not so much in one spot. Flip it to the side and then scrunch it up. Let's give it that definition. I don't have a lot of volume for myself, so scrunching is really the key for volume for me. So I just scrunch. I'm just gonna do that like this as well. And now, I'm going to take the microfiber towel and scrunch it back to the exact same thing. And when I've done that, my hair looks a bit messy. But I used to have a parting right that tear my hair, hair in my mouth. I <laughs> can't speak today. I used to have a parting right over here, like here, to the right side, but I don't like it anymore. And this is kind of how my parting naturally falls, so I just leave it like that. But sometimes I flip it to the left, sometimes I flip it to the right, so it just depends um, how I feel like it. But I shake it out so it's not too stiff in one point, and if I want to move it, I can. So, but this is my hair right now. I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll be right back when it's dry. So, my hair is almost completely dry. It is still a little bit wet, wet, a little bit wet here underneath, but that's alright. But this is how it's looking so far have some delicious looking curls up in here <laughs> but I'm just gonna fluff it a bit with this thing we're just gonna flip it up to the side just do that I don't do this too much just a little bit on to the other side and then yeah. Definitely because it's kind of still wet, I don't want to do this too much. Well, it's not wet, it's just like a little bit. And just scratch, you know, 
spool on. Now flip. <laughs> that did nothing, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is my hair right now. It's how it's looking right now. Hairs behind here are way more defined. And these are way more loose and drier curls because they're still a little bit damaged. But, you know, this is just how it's looking. I love it. I just want to show y'all how long my hair actually is. Look. I'm very proud of that because my hair used to be, like, let's just pull it up. It used, how am I going to show y'all? Like here. I look very weird like that. But, yeah, this is the final results. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And then also comment down below what you want to see from me next. And then that was it for this video. Bye, guys.